Today we have another report concerning this miracle water. We have followed a diabetes patient who faced the possibility of having to have his leg cut off. He recovered and was able to walk again. We have more from NNN cameraman Matsumoto. Because you took up my story on your TV program, my life was saved. I can make a fresh start thanks to you. One and a half months ago, Mr. K. Abi, 56, cut his right toe on a piece of glass. He left the hospital where he was staying and came to Kiawa Hospital in Kobe two days before the scheduled uh, operation to amputate his foot. He found this hospital through a TV cameraman. Mr. Abi says, the doctor at the first hospital told me that they had to amputate my foot and the toe on my other foot. If I lost both, I would not be able to work or walk, so I left the hospital. Twenty days ago, Mr. Abe entered Keowa Hospital. The condition of his foot is getting better day by day. At first, the feet were terrible. The color of the cells was dark. Most parts were pussy and smelled terrible. Both feet were infected with gangrene. This is the photo at the time I was first diagnosed, compared to the more healthy left foot. The bone melted and became thin. This was caused by poor blood circulation and diabetes. This was the way it looked. Reportedly, there are 5 million diabetics in Japan. Of those over 40 years old, about 1 out of 10 people suffers from this disease. Early on, you can control your calories and take insulin pills to treat the disease, but when you are seriously ill, you have to take insulin shots to control your blood level. Mr. Abe was labeled a seriously ill patient. To control diabetes, we use insulin, but to control a locally infected part, we use acidic water only. We use no antibiotics. To treat feet medically developed water with a pH of 2.4 and 1100 millivolts of deoxidized potential is used. This deoxidized electropotential water is very effective to control local infection and granulation, but it is not perfect. So first, we want to control diabetes by dosing with lots of electro electrolytic resolved water every day. We think effective treatment of gangrene can be achieved through such an improvement in the patient's constitution. They say the treatment of diabetics is possible using electrolytic resolved water or alkaline ion water, both of which are available to be made at home. Mr. Abe drinks five liter liters of water per day following the doctor's directions, and he says he has been improving daily. This water makes me feel light, and I'm in good shape. What kind of water is this? I asked the hospital staff to analyze it. Ordinary water is pH 7, and its resolved potential is plus 330 millivolts. An alkaline solution of pure water and caustic soda is pH 8, and its resolved potential is plus 200 millivolts. A miracle water that Mr. Abe is taking is pH 8, and its resolved potential is minus 238 millivolts. Does this water with a different electric potential have a good effect on Mr. Abe?
At last, Dr. Kawamura delivered the news that Mr. Abe had been desperately waiting for. Mr. Abe asked, is it necessary to cut off my foot? Is it? I don't think so. Congratulations, your foot has been saved. Thank you. Now I think I can work after being released from the hospital, and I'm looking forward to that. My leg would have been cut off if it would have been two days later. It might have been hell, but now I will be able to work again after I get out of the hospital. Dr. Hidemitsu Hayashi says, Diabetes is believed to be caused by insufficient secretions of insulin from beta cells in the pancreas. In modern medical science, an active enzyme called a free radical is said to be involved in insufficient secretions of insulin. In the human body, there are neutrophils and T cells fighting against viruses or malignant tumors. What is called active oxygen is fighting. After winning in the fight against a cancer, the enzyme, which is called SOD, will decompose residuals. But if there are too many residuals, they stick to anything and damage cell membranes and nuclei because they are poisonous. It is said that diabetes is caused by this. The resolved water obtained by electrolysis extinguishes free radical active oxygen. They are released out of the body, and that is why Mr. Abe's diabetes and gangrene took a turn for the better. I used to take 16 units of insulin, but they reduced it to 10 units now. I used to take 1,200 calories, but now I can eat 1,600. I feel just fine, and as they give me more of this water, I feel better and better. On the 45th day since Mr. Abe was admitted to the hospital, I happened to witness a scene. I doubted what I saw. Mr. Abe once thought about committing suicide because there was no chance he could save his leg, but I saw him leaving the hospital and go shopping with his sandals on. I think I am an exception that I didn't have my leg amputated. Though, though I suffer from diabetes, I am surprised myself over the recovery. It is really a miracle. I feel like I am having a dream when I walk down the street on my two legs. It's almost like floating on air. I was really surprised that a seriously diabetic patient recovered using only water. 